I'm Ryan Cuthbert, I'm a biologist with Fish Bio, and I'm here to explain to you how to assemble this particular style rigid weir. The idea here was we wanted to make a system that was, although rigid, was also portable. The weir is also designed so that at high flows it could be folded down. It can be left in position to ride out uh, flood type flows and on the descending arm of the flood flows the weir could be uh, repositioned uh, simply and uh, monitoring can continue. I'm going to start here. Here's one panel. This here is another style panel. This is a downstream passage panel. So Mike, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move this panel closer to the other panel. They can be uh, completely together side to side or they can be split apart. For right now, I just want to show how they go together side to side. Once we got them side to side, we can raise the panels up. So once the legs are in place there, we also have a a bolt in the back here. This bolt can be loosened or tightened. You can loosen it up and these legs are telescoping so you can change the angle of the panel here. The idea here is that we're making a fence-like structure in the river. We have these two panels, then we're gonna add more panels together to create the fence-like structure across the width of the river. We can either put a piece in here that just completely fills this gap or we can put a couple different options for downstream passage. Slide it in there, reset the legs. We can adjust our, our bike to whatever distance we need the two bike panels apart to encourage downstream passage, but discourage upstream passage through here. And there's no whole separate upstream passage. We just want to provide good downstream passage. And the idea is to have the water spill over here. Now herring, they don't like to, to migrate up any kind of drop off or any kind of fall of water. So any kind, even if it's just a couple inches of spill, uh, for, for monitoring herring, um, it, it's fine. It still provides good downstream passage, but discourages fish from trying to move upstream past this spill. And if we're somewhere, if our water depth is somewhere in between these panels, we also have pieces of, of metal that are just a couple inches that it gives us a, a couple inches of spillover. On this angle iron, there's two holes up, bolt goes in, that bolt can be a little loose and it's going to lock in position with the undulations in your, your river bottom. There's places for three bolts, I'll just put two in for now. Our panels are set in place, this is where we want them. We have stakes to stake in the panel into the substrate. Now we simply just have holes drilled into the angle iron here, insert your rod, you have a washer here. So you can pound this stake down. Each panel has two holes. So they're gonna be driven down there. There may be instances where we want the two panels to be at an angle to each other. We can take our bolts out in the back. We can loosen the one up in the front. And we can shift this panel. Now you can use a longer bolt in the front if you want to get a bigger angle. Now for the back, this nut goes on the inside of the panel. You have another nut on the outside. And you can adjust this width in the back here as far as you need to along this ball thread. Or you can cut this down if you want smaller sections. But what happens here is we start to get a bigger gap here than what we want. So to fill in that gap, we have a smaller section of panel that lays up against the two panels into that gap. It can be fastened, simple idea, but um, effective and easy to use. As the flow hits it here, we don't want the weir to shift backwards. Um, so here we have these ratchets. Now these ratchets are on, on a swivel. That way, if the weir is at an angle to the river channel, it can, it, this can swivel over 
and still be straight up the river. There'll be a, a cable wrapped around this ratchet and on the other end of the cable, there'll be an earth anchor. It's like a spade or, or triangle that's driven into the substrate and holds in place. And then we can uh, turn this ratchet, tighten up that cable and tighten up that earth anchor and uh, this spear won't go anywhere.